All right, another question I'm going to show you um, is highlight text. And highlight text has a lot of flexibility across varying content um, and also grade levels because you have the ability to import in here um, any amount of text. It could be a simple sentence. It could be a group of words. Um, it could be a paragraph, a poem, a whole essay. Okay. What I'm going to do here is first I have some text here that I wanted um, to use and I want students uh, to just look at this one single paragraph. All right, so I'm going to go back here, paste my paragraph in here, and my question is going to be, choose the vocabulary word that means the liquid heart of blood. All right, now I'm going to go to possible responses. All right, and I am going to highlight. So I'm going to say maybe it could be red cells. It could be platelets. It could be white cells. Okay, red cells didn't show up for some reason. There we go. It could be plasma. All right, so those are the options I'm going to give them. I'm going to go back here, look at the question, and it says, here's where I'm going to choose the correct answer. The correct answer happens to be plasma. Not a partial match because I'm not having them choose multiple answers. When might you actually want them to do partial match? Uh, I'm thinking younger kids, you're doing rhyming words. You have a list of words. Choose the words that rhyme with hat. And they have to pick all the words. You could have uh, multiple correct answers. And so then you could give them a partial match. So ma maximum selection, one. Okay, I'm only letting them pick one. Okay, that's it. I don't have to fill anything out there, but that is a possibility. And then I'm going uh, to click, click Save. Um, since this involves a little bit of reading, um, <clears throat> some more cognitive skills, I'm going to raise the point value um, up to three for this one. Okay. Now, there are a few more question types, math, short answer, number line, and chart. I'm not going to get into those uh, because I don't use them very often in my class. Um, but I might potentially make some videos explaining how to do 